feel like a smorgasbord of topics here. All right, let's start with, so this is all about um, the Cartesian plane, which is basically just a graph, right? Your X, Y grid is what we're looking at. So we're looking at things that are graphed there. This is P2. Just a big fancy word for our graph. First thing we're going to talk about distance formula. This should be a review. I think you first see it in geometry, maybe. But you might not have picked it up in Algebra 2, but there'll be a few things that we do that you'll have to go back and remember it. So that's why we kind of refresh it in our prerequisite chapter here. So if you've got two points, uh, maybe you have 2, 5, and negative 7, 4, okay? And you want to find the distance between these two points. What's the length of the segment that would connect them? Do y'all remember how to do that? Maybe? No? Okay. To find the distance, you take the square root of. You, I'm going to give you the formula first, and then I'll do it with the points that are on here. Subtract the x's and square it. Add that to the difference of the y squared. And the order does not matter that you do the, x, the x's in. Which one you start with there or with the y's? Because you're squaring them, so they're going to be positive anyway. So if I look at those two points that I have right there, and I want to find the distance. It's the square root. Two minus negative seven. Watch your signs there, because that'll probably be what throws you if anything does. Plus, 5 minus 4 squared. Does it look familiar? Do you remember it? Yeah. So 2 minus negative 7 would be 9. And 5 minus 4 would be 1. What is 9 squared? 81. 1 squared is... One. So the distance is the square root of 82. Easy? Y'all need me to do another example? No, everybody's going, no. All right, so the distance between two points. Um, what if I took those same two points? And I want to define the coordinates of the midpoint. What's the coordinate of exactly in the middle? Do you guys remember how to do that? Yes, Miss McGee. No, Miss McGee. I don't know, Miss McGee. No, okay. Let's look at midpoint then. Yes, thank you. Thank you for speaking to me. I appreciate it. All right, when we find the midpoint, it's, this one's super, super easy, too. We take the two values. All right, so I've got two points. What were those two points? Two, five, negative seven, four. So really, if you think about it middle, midpoint is the middle, right? You want to find exactly in the middle of two numbers, what do you do? Y'all can do this. Exactly in the middle of two numbers, what do you do? Somebody, please. <laughs> Anybody? Somebody. Okay, that could find the distance between to the middle, but how would you find the actual middle? You add them and then do what? Then divide by two. You average them together is essentially what you do. Good job, Jenna, good job. So to find the midpoint of both of these, what you do is you take the x's and you add them and divide by 2. And then you do the same thing with the y's. You just have to remember that what it is you're looking for 
is an actual point. You're not looking for one value, you're looking for two, for the, the combination of the two for to make a point. So here, my midpoint would be two plus negative seven over two and five plus four over two. That would be negative five over two and nine. Does that make sense? Good. Very last thing, which is I'm going to assume, I know in Algebra 2 we most of the time we do not have time to get to it, but you're going to need it in here. And that is, and maybe you did it in geometry. You need me to go back a second? Yeah. No, that's fine. Tell me when you caught up. All right, so circles. We're going to talk about the equation of the circle and what it looks like on a graph. Okay, so how to write the equation of a circle and how to graph given the equation. So let me show you in general what, what the equation of a circle looks like. X minus H squared. This is going to look kind of crazy. Have you all seen this before? No, yes, maybe some of us. You may have seen one that didn't have the H and K in there. Maybe it was X squared plus Y squared equals R squared. So if it was centered at the origin. What this does is this tells us if you think about things that you need to graph a circle, if you're on graph paper, okay, you need to know where the center point is, okay, and you need to know how wide to make it, right? And after that, you can kind of make a circle out of it. So the, this equation tells us both of those. H and K. And you have to change the signs on them because they start negative. So opposite signs. H and K, that's your center point. Okay, that's the very center of the circle. And R, and notice this is R squared. So whatever this value is, you'll have to take the square root of it. R squared is your radius. Now what is the radius of a circle? Half, halfway across, right? You go from the middle, that center point, come on, to any edge of the circle, and that's your radius. So if this is my center, and this is my, oh my goodness, nope, that is awful. Let me do the circle first, then I'll put a center in it. If this is the center, so this is HK then this distance here is my radius. And that radius is the same anywhere you go on that circle to any edge. That's my radius, right? <clears throat> so let's write the equation of a circle. Let's see. What would, y'all got that? Give me a wait a second, wait a second. What would the equation of a circle be that had a center two, three, and a radius of five? And just to show you what that means, I'm on a graph. I'm at one, two, one, two, three. And then the radius is five, so that's three, four, five. Then we'll get over here. So I ran off my paper. But that's what we're talking about. But what I want is I want the equation of it. That's my goal here. So what's the equation going to look like? Parentheses. X minus 2. We've got to change those signs, remember. Squared. Mm -hmm. Plus Y minus 3 squared equals... 
5 squared. Very good. Or 25. Does that make sense? Easy? I hope it's easy anyway. Let's see. It doesn't get a whole, whole lot harder than that. What's the center of the circle? What'd you say? Close. Zero one. You gotta change that sign there. Zero one. What's the radius? Is it three? It, you're right, it's square root, square root of three. Whatever that comes out to be is the nasty decimal that it is, but it's the square root of three. <clears throat> a lot of times you'll see this sitting here as a perfect square and it kind of clues you in, but sometimes it won't be and you'll have to know that you gotta take the square root of it to find the center. Does that, um, to find the radius, does that make sense? Y'all have any questions? Oh my. Let's say I gave you three points. This is an example. Negative three, four, one, zero, and five, four. And I said, tell me if this is a right triangle or not. If you connected these dots when you plotted these points, is it a right triangle or not? So the first thing you need to do is decide how am I gonna determine whether or not it's a right triangle? What do you do to determine if it's a right triangle? 90 degrees, how else, algebraically, how could I do it? What else is always true about a right triangle besides the 90 degrees? The 180 for all angles, that's every triangle, what else? Specifically, it's only for right triangles. Y'all don't remember? the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared has to be equal to C squared. So in other words, if I find the length of every side, and how can I find the length of sides? We talked about, it's the very first thing we talked about. Distance formula. If I find the length of every side, then I can check to see, does A squared plus B squared equal C squared? All right, so let's do it. Side one, and if you graph these, you will see that it comes out to look something like this. And so this is negative three, four, this is five, four, and this is one, zero. So we'll let this be A, this be B, and this would be the hypotenuse if it's a right triangle. So let's find the length of A first. How do I do it? Square root. Boy, y'all, come on. Subtract the x's, so negative three minus one squared plus what? Mm-hmm. Negative three minus one is what? negative four and negative four squared would be 16 plus 16. So side A is the square root of 32. Are we all in agreement? Okay, find side B. Y'all be working it on your paper. I'm gonna work it quietly up here so I don't give you the answer. Then you can look up and check your work.
Hmm. What do you notice? They're the same. They're the same. So that tells me it's an isosceles, but I don't know if it's a right triangle yet or not. To determine if it's a right triangle, I need to find the third side also. Hmm. Does A squared plus B squared equal C squared? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. The square root of 32 squared plus the square root of 32 squared, does it equal the square root of 64 squared? Well, these cancel. So, essentially, does 32 plus 32 equal 64? Yes. So, yes, this is a right triangle. That was cool, right? Yeah.